Hello everyone, Jared here with my wife Lindsay and we are back at Universal Studios in Orlando for another fun night of Halloween Horror Nights 2022 or 31. And tonight, we are going to try to get through all of the houses twice, hopefully. Now I've got a plan that I think will work in order to be able to get through this and that involves starting off with the New York Stand Scream area and doing Halloween right away and then hopefully hitting up Chupacabra and Dead Man's Pier very quickly after they open. It is Thursday the 13th, so it's not exactly a prime night. And so far, there's not a lot of people in the stand screen. And so it begins, heading into Halloween. And it is now 5.15, actually right on the nose. Oh no, I'm not heading in, I'm stopped. Wait a minute, are we heading into Halloween or the weekend? Out of Halloween and right into Spirits of the Covenant at 540. I think we're gonna be able to do this pretty easily tonight. There's not much of a line for this one. <laughs> 10 to 7 and we're heading into our fourth house, Dead Man's Pier. And after this we're gonna head to the back of the park. minute wait for the weekend and a 25 minute wait for Legends Collide. We've done four houses at 7.30. We're gonna try to knock these out real quick. 10 to 8 and we're heading into house number 5, Legends Collide. It feels like we're slowing down. I'm getting a little bit nervous. So we are now halfway through the houses, five down, and this is actually Lindsay's first night at the event this year. I've been several times for 2022, but she's this is the first time she's been able to make it. So what do you think so far of the five houses you've done? I'm having a lot of fun. These are great. I have two or three favorites already. I'm excited to see the rest of them, because there's a lot more. What do you want to do, Snug House, Bug House? Yes. <laughs> well, this is not a good sign. It's only nine o'clock and Lindsay, taking a coffee break. She's starting to wear out already and we're only got six houses done. We were kicking butt there for a while and then the pacing really slowed down. It's hard to the line. It's like 45 minutes long. Yeah, I know. And like some of them, Plum House is a 90 minute wait. So I don't know what we're going to do. I guess we're going to go try the weekend because that was only like a 40 minute wait. That was not bad. Yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> See if he does it. Sentence was actually quite long, dude. The express pass seemed, the express line seemed just as long as the regular line. Well, this is definitely not looking good. It's like 10 minutes to midnight. We still have two houses to do, Blumhouse and Hellblock Horror, just to get to 10. 
My plan was if we could get all 10 done by midnight, maybe the park would clear out and we could get 10 more in the, like the last two hours, but I don't know. Blumhouse has been a 90 to 100 minute wait like all night. Oh, well, this is promising. We're here at Blumhouse and the wait has finally dropped to a reasonable amount, 35 minutes. Well, that was closer to an hour wait, so I don't know what in the world is going on with the posted wait times there or why the line is even takes that long to get through Blumhouse because it wasn't even a very long line. So that's probably why the posted time was 100 minutes. They're just not moving it very fast. No, it really wasn't. Well, at this point in the evening, Hellblock is walk on. <laughs> I think it's been like this all evening, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I feel really sorry for that house. <laughs> That's why it's walk on. It's not really the greatest. Uh, we all know why. It was a replacement house. I'd really like to see it return in the future. Have a chance to be fleshed out and given its due. Well, at least we're going to be able to repeat one house. <laughs> Really good one. Yeah, the best one. <laughs> so it's almost 10 after 1, and you're looking at the Chupacabra line, and it's, it's just walk right in with this house. That's the kind of stuff I was banking on to happen tonight. It just didn't happen soon enough. It was absolutely absurd of me to think we were going to make it through every single house twice. We, we did 11, we made all 10, and then plus one, and I think where we goofed up was doing Blumhouse. If we hadn't tried to do Blumhouse, we could have gotten more. I mean, we quit at 1.30, and you could have still walked into Coven, Chupacabra, and Hellblock, which would have put us up at 14. We easily could do that by 2 a.m., but it really wasn't worth it. But, hey, this was your only trip so far. What do you think? I had a great time. They were really good houses. Real quick, what was your favorite and what was your least favorite? Uh, my favorite was Dead Man's Pier. It was amazing. They did a really good job with that. My least favorite, probably the Coven. I just really didn't, I didn't care for that one as much. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. That or Hellblock, but Hellblock, I don't know. I mean, it's not really fair to judge it based on how long they had to build that one. So, hey, we tried. Maybe on a slower night you could have done it, but Blumhouse, that was the goof. We could have skipped that and we still could have, we could have went right back and did uh, Bugs and Descendants because they were posting at like 10 minutes, but even Halloween still had an hour to wait at 1.30 or a posted hour or a posted wait of one hour. I don't know, we'll try it again some other time.